This is Jake and Susan Eaton with YukonRiverTrip.com and we're going to give you a tour of our boat. So this is where we've been holed up for a couple days because of the weather and and um, the current the uh, river's a little bit high right now. Uh, this is the Yukon River right here. The 30 mile river stretch of it. 30 mile, that's right, on our way to CarMax, um, which is most likely our destination. And we've stayed here, we stayed here last night and we've got our boat all decked out right now with rain tarps because... It's been raining all night. It's been raining, yeah. Sun, rain, so. sun, rain, 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 rain. Rain all night. Yeah. You can see our solar panels here. That's what we've been using to um, charge our batteries to bring this sweet action video to you. <laughs> <laughs> and for our trolling motor, which goes right there. Which is on the roof, right? Holding down the tarps? Holding down the tarps. Pretty high-tech stuff. So let's go inside and see. We've got the oars on the outside. Food and source. Food. Got a little bug repellent going, but being from Indiana, honestly, the bugs here, the mosquitoes, so far, <laughs> so far, are not nearly as bad. They um, are slower. They're slower. They're shy. And it seems like they get uh -huh. their feelings hurt. You swat at them and then they go away. They don't like keep coming, but they're silent. They don't really buzz and look right up in your ear. That's right. But we do have this thermosol burning and um, we got a citronella. citronella candle down here. And you can see our really high-tech um, electrical system here off the grid. Explain it to them, what we've got. Okay. Well, <laughs> we, we have a deep cycle marine battery. We got two more up there. And this right here is just a jump starter for a car battery, which has a cigarette lighter plug in or whatever that powers an inverter, which we can then plug our stuff into and keep our wonderful things charged so we can dump video and photos and all that. Um, we're using this, the voltmeter, to test the voltage. I guess I'm not an electrician, so um, I'll probably get corrected on YouTube, but we're using that this to test how much um, solar power we're getting from our solar panels to make sure we have enough to charge a 12 volt battery. And we so, also use a hand crank. Right yeah, here. we have a hand crank generator, and that charges the uh, batteries as well. It's a lot of work. Yeah, especially when your arms are already tired from rowing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. So, tour of the boat on this side. Got a lot of paracord hanging. Got my uh, jacket here. A lot of carabiners, which have come in very handy for just hanging stuff all over the place. And... Um, that's for panning for gold, because we're going to get rich. <laughs> Water bottles, uh, some empty ones back there, and we do have a gravity filter there to um, purify, I think it's supposed to be like five gallons of water at a time or something like that. Some homemade shelves, peanut butter, good old stuff. Um, Maxpedition pack, compliments of going gear. Thank you, Marshall. It's the best pack that I have ever had. And um, some more camera stuff. And my hat. And that's that's about it on this side. Can't forget um, my Japanese carpentry saw with my homemade sheath that my brother made, Josh. And neat handle. And our shotgun. This thing is... Um, made us feel more secure than it's probably uh, really been used. So, anyway, that in the clothesline and the white stuff up there is caulk. <laughs> we discovered a leak last night. 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> so we um, spent most of the night trying to patch leaks. But other than that, the boat's um, done well, except for uh, a lake that we went through, and it basically ripped some big cracks Up here, so. in the wood. You can see where it's moved, it's split. And um, you've already done some repairs, yeah. I've done some repairs, but we're not sure if it's going to hold or not. So, um, CarMax is now our destination. It looks anyway over here, okay. We've yeah. got our binoculars and um, our GPS system, and then our spot beacon that we have on, and that's how we check in with you guys um, and track our uh, movement. And, um, we leave, and we leave it all hanging up there, even when we're moving the spot beacon. <laughs> no, that goes on me. <laughs> um, and then I've got my maps down here that we use to in, in coordinates so we can see a bigger picture than the GPS. So usually our navigator will sit here and they've got all they need. But we got our fishing net and we've got some trekking poles, an extra paddle. Um, these are our favorite things to eat out of because it's really easy. Uh, to eat and clean out of it, and we've been having mostly ramen noodles, thanks dad, and um, mm -hmm. instant potatoes, um, what else have we had? Oh, the food has been so good, I can't, Pesto, can't even... um, pasta. I, I did catch a 30-pound pike yesterday, but um, decided to let it go. Yeah, we'll, we'll eat some yeah. just before we get off. Um, and then coming back here, this goes to our uh, hand crank generator, hanging just, you know, personal stuff, knives. Move back a little bit so we can see. Uh, and, uh, oh, of course my safety whistle, that goes on me too. <laughs> and pots and pans, another um, water purifier. And, I mean, that's basically it. We've got more storage here, and then underneath the, the beds here is where we keep... Uh, a lot of our, well, all of our stuff there, sleeping stuff, clothes, first aid, etc. tools, um, extra shoes, except mine are out drying right now because I bailed twice yesterday <laughs> off the boat. I'm not misbalanced. So we got lots of storage. Yeah. Um, makes for a very difficult boat to paddle with these uh, 11 foot oars and um, it's our first try, maybe last, but it, using oars on this, but um, they work. They work and they work really actually pretty well. It's just a lot of weight, so you're not gonna win a race, but uh, we um, found some, uh, we ran into some like six foot swells, maybe, mm -hmm. yeah. I guess, um, on Lake LeBurge and um, we thought that was the uh, end of it all. It was a very, very scary um, ordeal. So anyway, we're we here. We might talk about that later. We'll talk about <laughs> that later. But we're here now to give you a tour. Oh, and our gold pans. Yeah. This is what we got in a uh, white right. horse. They're already rusty. Yeah. And we're going to pan for gold. We've, More. We've already yeah. done some, but. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't hit pay dirt yet. Anything else we want to share? Oh, clothesline and uh, my favorite socks right here. Both of our favorite socks actually from Point Six that we uh, oh, yeah. love and they make me feel very comfortable when I'm cold or after our Lake LaBerge incident. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, clothesline, I mean that's it basically. We've mm -hmm. got a tarp out the back um, which covers our beautiful view but right. it keeps us dry. Well, we'll uncover that here in a bit. And if the rain lifts and do some more footage for you all. <laughs>